Hello everyone. The last video briefly introduced the parameters and features of the MKS TinyV motherboard. This video teaches you how to configure the motherboard firmware. This tutorial only applies to Marlin firmware. Firmware can be downloaded from MakerBus's GitHub. The download link is below the video. First open the firmware file in Visual Studio Code. Select the configuration.h file. Enable serial port 2 and change the following value to minus 1. Enable baud rate 2 and change the following value to 115,200. Fill in board MKS TinyV after motherboard. Enable EEPROM settings. Enable SD support. Select the configuration add.h file. Enable ESP 3D Wi-Fi support. Enable web support. OTA support and Wi-Fi custom command. Select the platformio.ni file. Change Mega256 in default and versus to MKS Tinibi. After the firmware configuration is completed, the next step is to compile the firmware and write the firmware to the motherboard. First use a USB cable to connect the motherboard and PC. Then use the jumper cap to change USB from off to on. Then click Platform I.O. Build to compile the firmware. After compiling, click Platform I.O. Upload to write the firmware to the motherboard. After the firmware is written, the motherboard can be used normally. MKS Tinibi can control the 3D printer by connecting the PC to the Wi-Fi of the motherboard. After the connection is successful, open the browser. The browser will automatically pop up a page. Then we upload the web file that controls the printer. After the upload is successful, click Go to ESP3D interface to connect to the printer. Then you can control the printer through the web page. In addition to using the hotspot connection of TinyV, you can also connect it to your router. First go to the ESP3D page. Find the Wi-Fi mode column and select Client Station Mode. Then fill in the Wi-Fi name in the Station SSID column. Finally, fill in the Wi-Fi password in the Station Password column. Click the set button to confirm the settings. Click the refresh button to load the previous settings to the motherboard. Now let the motherboard reboot. After the Wi-Fi connection is successful, you can see the IP address on the display. Ray open the browser and enter the IP address on the display in the URL bar to connect to the motherboard.
Now the motherboard is connected successfully, you can move, print and other operations on the printer.